okay guys so what we will do in this particular video uh, we will be using the value uh, read by the PIR sensor to turn on and off the LED okay so once the motion is sensed by the PIR sensor we'll be using that particular motion maybe to turn on the uh, LED light uh, and uh, turning off that okay so in one of the video you have seen how to record the values from the PIR sensor so the same could have just kept it over here I'll be adding the things which are required to uh, work on the LED fine so here uh, there is nothing is the change here what I will do I'll just add one one uh, statement for the LED light okay so I'll be setting that pin mode for the LED okay for the LED uh, which will be uh, turn on and off so LED will become the output over here in, in my case so I'm using this pin mode and I'm going to connect my uh, LED at pin number 13 of Arduino so I'm using 13 and that will be set to output that will be set to output okay that is only one line will get added then in the loop function what I'm going to do uh, the logic will be something like if the PIR sensor value is high then the LED should get on else uh, the LED should be off okay so here you can see uh, you can uh, uh, understand very clearly that I need to put the if and else command fine so before that if and else the PIR sensor should the should read the value and that is what the command already we are given the read value is equal to digital read PIR sensor okay now what I will put the if uh, statement over here so what I will do uh, I'll write uh, like if this particular read value is uh, equal to 1 okay so when because 1 is nothing but the uh, motion is sensed okay so whenever you are supposed to write the equal to that is equal to equal to double you have to write that particular sign so if this particular read value equal to 1 okay then okay well here what you are supposed to do you put the curly bracket and uh, don't give the semicolon in the if okay that is what care you are supposed to take if this particular value is equal to 1 that means the motion is sensed then the pin number 13 should get high okay so I should write digital write as pin number 13 is output I should write over here that digital write pin number 13 should be high okay comma high okay that is what if the value is equal to 1 else okay for else I need to come out of this curly bracket else what I need to do else again I will put the curly bracket else the digital read that value is low else is what value is uh, 0 for the PIR sensor and in that case the LED should be in the off state so it will be uh, low it will be low okay that is what the simple few lines will get add to control the LED okay so digital rate 13 will be low and then obviously I am going to print those values on the serial monitor as well so I will uh, be using the serial dot print ln if you don't want you can remove this particular line that is also possible fine okay so what I will do I will just first upload this code okay I will upload the code and uh, then we will go uh, sorry I will compile the code and then I will upload so I will go for the compiling let us see any error is there no so compiling is done now what I will do I will upload the code to the Arduino and uh, then we will see how this particular uh, uh, LED is getting on and off uh, so in the next uh, half of this video I am going to show you the hardware circuit fine so we will go for the hardware circuit first and then we will upload the code okay so already we know the uh, connection for connecting the PIR sensor to the Arduino so VCC pin will be connected to the 5 volt then the ground pin of uh, PIR will be connected to the uh, what you can say the ground uh, and uh, the data pin of this PIR sensor will be connected to the digital pin which are which is assigned in the code to that particular digital pin of Arduino will be connecting okay now only thing that I should add already this connection is show, already we have seen in one of the video so in this particular uh, case I just want to add the LED my LED is getting connected to the pin number 13 on the uh, Arduino and uh, obviously the positive terminal of LED will be connecting to the pin number 13 
fine and negative will be to the ground so what i'll do i'll just go on counting the things 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 fine so this is the pin number 13 this is the pin number 13 and just a side of this pin number 13 i am having the ground pin. Okay, so i have connected it okay now what i will do i will upload the code okay i will upload the code fine okay so when you connect the led will blink obviously i will just upload the code and then we will see okay code is getting uploaded okay uploading is done fine so now the led is off so whenever i give any motion to the uh, pir sensor it should get on okay let us see no sometimes this pir sensor uh, doesn't sense properly so we need to wait for some time okay just a minute i'll just give the motion yes when i give the motion see the led got on so that depends on the sensing as well okay so whenever you have the value see so whenever you have the value over here one and that time the led is getting on okay you can see the serial monitor as well see now zero 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 one okay because my thumb was there in front of the PIR sensor. Fine. Okay. See, now the one has got. Okay. This is how it will work. Fine. So, this is how you can uh, use the PIR sensor to control the LED. Okay. So, that's all about the video. Thank you.